Hey, welcome back for another video. I appreciate you clicking on this video and I hope you're doing well. I hope you're uh, seeing a lot of success with your efforts to lose weight. And uh, well, I, I hope you're enjoying this beautiful summer. We just had a, uh, a holiday, it was the 4th of July. And I hope you enjoyed that, got to be able to spend time with your family, get outside, enjoy the great outdoors uh hike whatever camp um i hope you were safe with the fireworks and everything but and um alcohol and all that but still i hope you enjoyed it and had fun it's a uh bright sunny tuesday morning sun is uh shining bright and beautiful blue skies with some uh, puffy white clouds and it's uh, a hot one. It, we've been uh, heating up pretty good. So uh, I'm kind of getting out here earlier than I normally would to try to beat the heat. And uh, uh, I just uh, got my walk done and wanted to get on here and do this video really quick. Um, for this week, I just wanted to discuss how there are a lot of difficulties and this choice you made to get healthy and become fit and uh, lose the weight that you've uh, uh, been carrying and making you unhealthy a lot of the times it's not outside forces that are preventing you from achieving these goals it, but it's your own personal barriers that you have put up that is preventing you from succeeding. Preventing you from moving forward and, you know, keeping you back. So in these different things that are keeping us from uh, achieving our goals, the barriers that we place in front of ourselves, um, the, in my experience, and this is so true for myself because, um, well, it, it's a, a number one barrier for myself is uh, fear. Fear of the unknown, fear of the discomfort that you have to go through and the pain that you go through, especially if you have health issues like bad joints and uh, all that. So. Um, you could start off the most enthusiastic to begin your journey, but by the end of that first day of the efforts you put in and your, your body is hurting so much and it's your mind interfering saying, why are you putting yourself through this torture? Why? To, and the mind, see, because the mind wants to protect you, wants to protect your body, and it, and it's programmed to recognize what it feels is going to cause you harm and prevent you from doing that. And so when it's receiving the signals from your body, it's saying, see, seeing, wow, I don't like this. This is not good. You are hurting yourself. Why are you doing this? So your mind tries to put, well, these barriers and tries to prevent you from doing harm to yourself. But you have to work through those barriers that your mind tries to place. So it, you're, it's using fear to make you stop saying the pain, you're kill, killing your body when you're not, you're, it doesn't recognize that you're trying to become healthier, that you're trying to improve your body. And so it's not used to this new programming that you're trying to instill in 
to your mind by making these habits. And that's what habits are. It's just think of it as a computer. You're installing, it's setting up a new program for your, for your life, your routines, all of that. That's just a basically a basic um, computer program because so you're, you're rewriting everything and you're, the mind doesn't like that. It wants to fight back and stop that. It's not seeing that the pain that you're and discomfort that you're going through right now is actually a good thing. So um, the other f f aspects of the fear that it would throw up at you is it makes you worry about what other people think. Maybe you're as big as I am and you're worried about walking down the street and boys, jerks that um, think, believe that they are so perfect when they're not are judging you and wondering, ew, look at all that fat jiggle and why does she think she wants to better herself or himself or you know whatever so that's another fear that starts creeping up into your mind that is your mind is just using to try to make you stop but most of all i think the biggest fear that it it will try to place in front of you is the fear of failure that's why we get into our comfort zone and we think we're okay. And anytime you think of trying to improving yourself and you know, maybe you're not happy in your job. So you and have, have had thoughts of maybe starting your own business or something like that. But then that fear that the mind is using to stop you from making those changes it starts telling you why you're just gonna fail why are you gonna begin doing these walks why are you gonna diet when it's gonna make you suffer when you're just gonna end up quitting on yourself because it's, it, the pain is going to end up being too hard and you're going to give up. And that's where and all of those fears, all of those I have experienced and I still experience. So um, that's a lot of of my problems. And uh, and there's no real magic cure for it. It's just you have to find that will deep inside of you. Find that power inside you that is strong enough to overcome that your mind trying to protect you. Say, no, I am, yes, I am going to be in pain now, but the benefits is going to outweigh that pain. So I'm not going to give up. I am stronger than I believe and I can do this. So just kind of try to pep yourself up. Listen to motivational videos, uh, personal affirmations. All of that is very helpful in overcoming that those messages that, that the, your mind is creating. The second barrier that I have faced is a big one that has contributed to making things difficult for me is setting unrealistic goals. Yes, you want to make long-term goals. Maybe your um, goal is to lose a couple hundred pounds, get to a healthy weight, and be fit where you could, you know, in Idaho we have the Centennial Trail and it's a long hike. And that's one of my goals of being able to do is to hit that trail and be able to maybe do 
16 miles a, a day and uh, camp overnight and then start all over again until I finish that trail. And other trails I have aspirations of being able to hike and um, but you have to remember that you have to start small. So you have your long-term goals. All that, that, that I just talked about is my long-term goals. Now, what about my short-term goals? What are my goals for today? What are my goals for the week, the month? Um, so sit down with a pen and paper and be realistic with yourself. If you're just starting, you have to realize that your body is not going to be able to get out there and put in miles after miles right at the start. Okay, you have to be realistic and start off small. You know, do a walk around the block of where you live. Just start there. If that's too much, then just walk out and just walk to the corner and back. And start off small. And if that is too easy, then you go, okay, I could do more. Let's plan out this route, which is a little lo longer, but still not too much. So you do it and you just kind of get out there Try to go every day, but if you can't, then maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you know, or, or uh, do a Sunday. I don't know. Just uh, work out what's best for you and just start off the, that small amount of walking and then gradually increase as your body gets more accustomed to it and uh, you become stronger both mentally and physically and uh, that's how you're going to build up the capability of being able to put in mo multiple miles in a hike so uh, don't try to force yourself to do too much by if you're beginning and you go okay I'm going to do five miles a day I don't care if uh, my body is not really accustomed to it. I'm going to do this and when you do it, you end up forcing yourself to have injuries or um, a lot of pain, um, exhaustion because your energy levels are ready for it and uh, so that's why you start off small, because you, if you start off, because if you start off too big, you're just going to sabotage yourself. The third barrier is um, believing that you do not have enough time. When most of us do, okay. Even if you are an entrepreneur that is working 24 hours a day or something like that you still have to make it a priority to cut out at least one hour to get a workout in. W one hour to focus on your health. But most of us are not so busy that we can, with work that that is an issue. Most of us put in our eight day hours a day, uh, at a uh, job working for somebody else and uh, we sleep eight hours a day or the six to eight hours a day um, but uh, you still have several hours in there in between those points that you could get a workout in but most of us choose watching TV as a priority over our health you choose leisure over doing the work to exercise and get healthy. So 
there's no real tips to overcome that. You just have to realize and find that will inside you to say, okay, I'm watching this much time of TV. I could cut out some of that time and dedicate that to my health because it's worth it. But you have to find that value in yourself to do it. The fourth barrier is, and I, I kind of touched on this in the very first barrier, but um, the fourth barrier is using the pain or your lack of energy as an excuse for not going out to exercise. And this is an excuse that I use quite a lot because right? I've m mentioned multiple, multiple times that I've got destroyed ankles and bad knees and all that kind of stuff. And um, for me to go on hikes and being at my weight of, um, I don't know my exact weight right now, I'm somewhere between 400 and 500 pounds right now. That's a lot of weight to be car carrying on your walk and it's going to cause you pain. And um, so that pain sometimes just makes you start thinking it's not worth it. When it is worth it, you are worth it. You have to realize that you're not doing this to look good. You're doing this for your life, for your health, to have a better quality of life. I, I just learned that sitting around watching TV is not a good quality of life. Getting outside, enjoying the world, enjoying nature, to me that is a good quality of life. And that's why I force myself to put my body through that pain in order to become healthy. And so you have to just kind of it's all about will. You got to find that will in you and realize you can do it. You are strong enough to do it. So just kind of fight through it. All right. Um, I know that's not a whole lot of help, but most of this, these barriers are only something that you alone could dismantle. You alone have to fight through it and, in maybe a few months time, you will see that it was so worth it and that, so, that you are so much stronger than you were at that time. So you just have to realize your self-worth. Okay, so that's about it for what I've got for you this week. I hope you find it helpful. I, uh, I know I talked about a lot of the barriers that people like you and myself go through when we decide to make this journey, but I didn't exactly give you like solutions. And I, the truth is, is the only person that could find those solutions are, are you. I could tell you my experiences, but what works for me might not work for you. So you just have to find that will and that drive deep inside of you to, to go through this. So I hope you continue to take care of yourself and work on your health. I. Uh, I really wish you all the happy, uh, happiness and success in this journey. And, uh, well, take care of yourself and I will, um, oh, I'll, whoa, wait, ha ha. Before I cut out, I just wanted to also uh, ask you to help me out by hitting that like button. Um, that it really helps with the uh, algorithms and all that crap. So um, hopefully I could start being able to reach more viewers so if you hit that like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please hit that subscribe channel 
and uh, if you have friends and family that are interested in trying to take better care of their health that they don't have to weigh several hundred pounds over uh, the normal weight that they need to be um, they could just only need to lose five pounds maybe um, they could benefit from watching my videos and so maybe suggest to them to check it out and subscribe to my channel as well and uh, also, I want, would love to receive some feedback from you guys from um, any ideas that you want, I hope I could discuss in a uh, future video, um, any advice from me and to everyone else uh, that sees the videos. Um, you know, it's all good, it's all accepted and will be greatly appreciated. As long as, it, you know, positive and constructive, not, nothing negative, but, uh, you know, let's help each other out. Let's build a community to, of support for each other. And uh, something else you could do to help me uh, and my channel grow is to visit my website at www.jbaileyphoto.net and that's where I sell prints of my landscape photography and uh, the sales will help go to this channel to make a better video to uh, actual better hikes because I haven't been able to go on hikes lately so um, every sale will help me to be able to do that all right well that's it for this video I uh, greatly appreciate all of you Please take care of yourselves and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.